What's going on everybody, it's Bobby. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys a review of this guy. The Zero 5-in-1 Wireless MagSafe Charging Dock. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know Zero did not sponsor this video. They did, however, provide me with this unit for review. And overall, I'm really glad they reached out because this thing is awesome. Now, to start things off, I want to talk about the design of this charger. Overall, when you first get a look at it, very sleek looking. As for the five in one functionality, there's going to be a 15 watt MagSafe charger for your iPhone right here, which magnetically allows you to latch your device onto it a three watt charger for the Apple Watch, a 15 watt Qi standard charger, which you can use for things like your AirPods or an additional wireless charging device, a 10 watt USB in the back if you wanna plug in an additional device like an iPad or potentially like a power bank or something like that. And then a rather unique feature, there's actually a two watt night lamp that's built into the actual frame of the device. It has this little touch sensitive button right down here with three adjustable brightnesses. So say you want to find something or you drop something in the crack of your bed or you just want a little bit of light at night, you can tap this little touch sensitive button right here on the bottom and it'll alternate between the three different brightnesses giving you just a little bit of extra clarity at night. Now, me personally, I think it looks really awesome on your bedside table. Even You could even put this on like a desk if you want or maybe like a kitchen counter or something of that nature. It looks really sleek on your desk. I mean, it's got this kind of like metal chrome bar looking design with the all white accents and just everything sits on it and looks really nice. Now, there are definitely a couple different competitors for this particular product and I'll be sure to touch on my thoughts as far as like a comparison between them a little bit later in the video. Um, but at least in regards to build quality, I'd say the one that this looks the most similar to would be the three-in-one kind of thing you can get from Belkin. Personally, I've tested that particular one from Belkin and I've tested this one. The one from Belkin definitely has a little bit more, like, you know, hep to it. It feels a little bit heavier and a little bit more solid. But as far as like a third party charger goes, this thing is like super solid. I don't think this is made cheaply in any way, shape or form. It's just not as heavy, I would say. Now, the reason why the weight actually makes a difference in something like this has to do with the MagSafe. The one thing I noticed is every time I went to reach for my phone on my bedside table, when you try to pull your phone off of it, because that magnetic connection is so sturdy, it actually lifts up the mount a little bit. And this can be an issue when you pull the actual mount up a little bit, it might accidentally knock your AirPods off that little Qi charger right down here. Um, causing it to be out of line and then ending up in you waking up in the morning and the AirPods not being charged, which happened to me a couple of times, but I kind of got used to it and I made sure I wasn't lifting up the actual stand. I would kind of turn it to the side when I pulled my phone off. Not the biggest deal, but just something I thought I would mention. Now, as for charging speed, I don't really have a way of quantifying whether or not the phone held up to that 15 watt charging speed that's advertised. Wireless charging in general tends to kind of suck in the speed department, so if I ever need to charge my phone quickly, I just use the wired fast charger I also have on my nightstand. Um, but the biggest thing for me is when I put my phone on it, I put my watch on it, I put my AirPods on it at night and I have it sitting on my bedside table in the morning, is it fully charged? Yes, every single time. So that's really all that matters to me personally. Now, 
As for the comparison between this guy and the other wireless chargers I've tried, I've used a whole bunch of different ones in the past couple of years. Lately, I've been using the Nomad wireless charging pad. It's not a MagSafe charger, but it does have two coils on the actual pad itself and a place for the Apple Watch. I didn't really use it as something to charge my phone. I more so just had my AirPods sitting on it, my Apple Watch sitting on it, and then I would have my iPhone on an actual MagSafe charging cable. The Apple branded one. I then spent some time using the MagSafe Duo, which has two different chargers, one for the Apple Watch and one for an iPhone or AirPods. Um, I don't use that one often, to be honest, because I have three things I typically charge all the time, and that one only accommodates two. So I kind of just keep that one in my bag, and that's kind of my portable on the go if I'm traveling somewhere kind of charger, since it's really good for portability. Now I've also spent some time trying out the Belkin Boost Charge Pro with MagSafe, I think that's what it's called. That one definitely has a little bit better build quality, but you're not getting quite all of the same features that you would with something like the Zira. So when you compare all three of them, the Nomad Charger probably looks the best and it's got that really sleek leather finish. The MagSafe Duo probably is the most portable um, and it's like a first party Apple product so it always has that really sleek design as well and I really like how it magnetically folds. The MagSafe uh, Boost Charge Pro or the Belkin Boost Charge Pro, that's a weird name but anyway. Um, that particular one, I think it has really good build quality and you also do get some, some more functionality than you would from the other ones. But for the price point of all of those, I believe all of them are north of $100. This one, you can get a version of it, I believe, for like $60. And if you want the extra cables that come with it, I think it's like $70. For the price point that you get this, plus the extra functionality that you get along with it, with a really good design, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. This one is definitely the best bang for your buck, and I definitely recommend you guys check it out. So that about does it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you wanna see some more content around this type of stuff. I also have some giveaways going on um, on some of my other videos that I've posted. So if you wanna see those, the link to those will be down in the description. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.